like um like um say if you come up with a product a, a good example my niece has a product that she came up with and it's to treat migraine headaches but in order for her to to execute that dream what she had to do was actually what she had to do was um, write out a plan, and she actually had to stay focused on keeping herself strong in order to get that plan put out there and get it into the right hands. So dream big. Dream big. If you've got an idea, don't think that it's stupid. People will tell you all the time that your idea is stupid. But guess what? That idea, that may be the million-dollar or billion-dollar idea, Right there, and you're holding back on it because of what people say. Important people do matter, but so do just just regular regular people matter. Amen. You are important, and your personal growth matters. It matters who you are when it comes down to your dreams, because those are things that God has given you personally to share with others. How you feel about yourself matters. How you treat yourself matters. Your dreams do matter, and no dream is too big when you have the right mindset. So the second thing for personal growth is you need to have the right mindset. And how do you get that right mindset? You need to pray to God to transform your mind, to renew your mind, to give you um, new visions and dreams and victories. You can access God 24-7. All you got to do is seek and you shall find. Ask, and you shall be given. You know, those are things that you need to do. And this, y'all, this class is just uh, mainly like a little introduction for where we're going to in the next few weeks, okay? So no dream is too big when you have the right mindset. People made the mistake of giving up prematurely because of the roadblocks in life. You know, if you had to file bankruptcy last year, okay. Okay, that's just that's just one roadblock. It's not the end of life. It's not the, it doesn't mean that you're not going to have finances coming in, and it doesn't mean that you can't put a little something to the side. It's just a little robot. If you had some sicknesses in 2018 that kept you from going forward, well, it's 2019. How are you feeling now? Uh, it's just a little, it's just temporary. Just pick yourself back up. Don't dwell on the past. Don't be afraid to make new mistakes. Get out there and learn from all that you have been through. Even if you were sick in 2018 and you're better now, pick it up. Trust God because, see, faith is an action. And we have to stay in the faith when it comes down to our personal growth. And to be honest, that's the only way you're going to be able to achieve anything that I'm telling you tonight is your faith in God. That's the only way you're going to be able to achieve those things. As a matter of fact, um, while I'm talking about faith, when you go to Hebrews, let me see here if I still got it up. Um, give me a second, y'all. Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11. That's where I want you to go to. Because, see, the thing about when we become believers, we're in a relationship with God and and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, and that's what will help us grow. When we have that personal relationship with God, the power of the Holy Spirit will help us to grow in the areas that we are lacking. So Hebrews 11 says, I'm going to read the first through the third verse. It says, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commanded for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's, at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. By faith, Abel brought God a better offering than Cain did. By faith, he was commended as righteous when God spoke well of his offering. And by faith, Abel still speaks even through, even though he is dead. 
faith can accomplish a lot of things, y'all. I'm telling you, if you want personal growth, you have to make sure that you're spending that time with God. And I'm jumping ahead of myself, but I just wanted to put that out there ahead of time because um, because it's very important that you realize how important you are to God and how important your relationship is with him in order to obtain personal growth. There is no other way to grow personally. There is no other way to grow except by and through the spirit. Of course, you can do a lot of things out here in the world without God, but you're not going to see any good fruit come off of it. It's not going to be prosperous. So um, I would encourage you to keep your faith in God. Keep your faith in God. And keep doing the things that keep pushing you forward. Even if you have past mistakes, you have to realize this is the thing about the past. When you begin to dwell on the past, you don't have any future resources, meaning that your mindset is so far at the back of the line that you don't have the stability nor mindset to move forward because you're constantly fixated on the things that have happened that are bad. You are in a constant state of anxiety, worry, and depression that will keep you from moving forward, oppression. It will keep you from moving forward. And so you just end up sitting there with all these good ideas that God has placed in your heart, but yet nobody gets to hear about them or nobody gets to see them because you feel like you're not important. You feel like you don't matter. You feel like your dream isn't big enough. And and a problem I see whenever most of the time when people start feeling like that, it's because they have compared themselves to what others have. They have focused more on what they do not have instead of what they do have to work with. So I'm encouraging you all today to just ask yourself, how can you help others? If you don't have a resourceful resourceful mindset, how are you going to get to your progress if you cannot endure the process? The process is never easy. It's, it's a long journey. It's a lifelong journey. Let me tell you something. Um, we are always going to be a work in progress. Our work here will not be done until we leave this world. So we are going to always be a work in progress. So never feel bad about how you fail or why you fail, but instead look at it, get the lesson from it. Instead of being hard on yourself, just take a little time to analyze your mistakes without being negative toward yourself, without judging yourself negatively. Being, uh, you know, giving yourself a negative judgment and learn from them. People who learn from their mistakes are successful. What is your definition of successful? You know, people who learn from their mistakes, they are successful. And I learned from mine this year, and I became successful. How, how did I become successful? I didn't make a million dollars, but guess what? I had success in my peace, my peace of mind. So it all makes a difference. The best thing you can do with your mistakes, like I said, is learn from them and move on. Move on. Move on from them bad friendships. Move on from those bad choices. Move on from the wrong timing. You know, sometimes we get a little pre, a little um, anxious and we get ahead of God and make mistakes. Move on from that. Move on from the bad friendships, the bad choices, the wrong timing. Move on from the negative thoughts that you've had toward yourself. It's hard to move on from someone. And I'm going to say this from a personal point of view myself. It's hard to move on from someone that you thought was right for you. It's, it's hard to move on from relationships that felt so good in the beginning, but now they're miserable. It's hard to move on. From the things that you are used to, the things that you are familiar with, you know, um, if you're used to having a car, it's hard to go without having a car. You feel like, darn, I can't get where I need to go. And it upsets you, but it also robs you from the dreams and joy and peace that you could have if you just move on, if you just get past that negative thought. You can make it. You can get to the next moment. If you get past that negative thought of, I don't have enough money to provide for my family, 
Trust me, God is a great provider. Whatever you need, it always comes on time. He's never late. He's a God that cannot lie. Amen. So um, don't dwell on those mistakes, okay? All right, the next thing, the third thing for personal growth is going to be, oh, man, I have a scripture here also. Give me just a second. I'm going to see something. I'm going to see something. I have a scripture here. It is actually 2 Corinthians. Let me see. I may not be able to pull it up. Hold up, let me check something out here. Um Airplane mode, get off in here. I mean airplane mode, y'all. Okay, so I'm not I don't know, second Corinthians. Uh give me just a second, y'all. I am really trying to Get into my Wi-Fi right now. Okay, I'm not even going to work. Um, but when I say we are still a work in progress, Second Corinthians 5.17 says, we are still a work in progress. God is... Uh, I can't read it. Oh, my God, my handwriting is screwed. <laughs> Y'all give me just a second, and we're going to move on. But, you know, it's just like I'm saying... It's so easy to get caught up in the things that we don't have and to stay in our um, past failure because it feels more comfortable to be in a past failure, you know. It feels more comfortable to be in a past failure. So what we do is we tend to stay there and st- where it's more comfortable instead of getting up and stretching our faith, asking God to increase our faith. Give us more faith, you know, walking out there despite how we feel, holding our heads up, continuing to dream despite what dream didn't work previously. Okay, so the next thing is going to be time management. I hear so many people all the time say, I don't have time for myself. I can't do this. I can't do that. I don't have time. I work. I got kids. I got to go do this for that person. I got to do that on my job. Um, Life is just hectic, 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 hectic. But strict time management is very important when it comes down to personal growth, Um, to develop personal growth, uh, a personal growth mindset. The first thing you need is that time to yourself to even think. You need that time to yourself. You must have discipline in your time. You must learn how to say no when things do not fit you and say yes to the things that you do want to do instead of letting fear defeat you on it. So in order to develop a personal growth mindset, you've got to have that discipline in time. One of the things that was getting to me, I was like, oh, my God, I'm not going to have time enough to do this, time enough to do that. And I was saying that last year, I was like, how am I going to fit everything in? I'm going to tell you something. If you ever get sick, you ain't going to have no choice but to fit things in. And that's what happened to me. I had so much on my plate that I stopped doing the things that I needed to do. I got off schedule with my medication. I lost all timing that I had for myself trying to help others. So what ended up happening I had to get back on sketch. I said, wait a minute, I got to get this time in here for me. So I ended up um, getting my time in there to get get um, my personal time, my prayer time. I got a prayer life, my prayer life, my um, Bible study time. The things that matter most to you, you need to make time for it um, when it comes down to your prayer life and your spending your time with God, that needs to definitely be a priority because the only way you're going to grow is through spirit, being spiritually lifted. And when you become spiritually lifted, there are just things that you're not going to be willing to do. There's just things that you're not going to be willing to take a risk at and lose who you are in Christ. 
for the things of this world. So this means that you have to take time to realize where you're at right now and where do you need to be. 